my name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I am fantastic and doing really well. And today I am reviewing, it's French so I'm not gonna pronounce it. It is this rose fragrance by Le Vuitton. This is expensive. Wow, this is 275 pounds for 100 mil. So this contains Centiflora rose, Bulgarian rose, oud wood, ambergris, black pepper and saffron. Do we have our bottles of this rose fragrance by Louis Vuitton? Are we engaged with our higher self? Let's get testing. So this was recommended to me by one of my customers who said, this is a fantastic rose based fragrance. This is so similar to um, Portrait of a Lady. This is musk heavy. So this is very, very clever uh, perfumery. And you have a top note musk, which works on the top to give elevation and lift cleanness to it. And then you dry down to uh, sort of smoothness and bretolide and uh, ethyl brassoate. And you can detect that really high in here. And bretolide in high concentrations gives a much more Middle Eastern feel. And it gives a slight metallic feel. It's quite an interesting musk. At low amounts, it gives fluffiness and at high amounts, it sort of gives harshness. I mean, this is like a uh, dry. It reminds me massively of a uh, portrait of a lady. Definitely phenyl ethyl alcohol. And phenyl ethyl alcohol is the one of the main constituents in uh, rose and it um, gives that rose hit that you would be used to with some sort of an amber quite a harsh amber so I'd suggest I'd say something like a, a definitely ambroxan which this is dry very nice and super radiant but how it's been built and the cost I'd expect nothing less dry radiant clean sharp and it's got some lovely fruit molecules and some damescone molecules, which there's lots of them. And damescone, when you smell it, the sort of different configurations, then you smell of like the red, current, alpha, beta. Um, you have lots of different types. That is quite apparent in this as well. You have that sort of like a red wine sort of feel to it, sort of finish to it. Black pepper to help flick and push the formulation. So this has been built really well, actually. I do like it, it's very nice quite a masculine smelling for rose which I really appreciate because I've mentioned before rose has got quite a bad reputation of smelling like old ladies or very old-fashioned and it's not but it does smell really similar to portrait of a lady so I'm gonna um, compare it actually I do like the metallic dry finish to it and that is similar to Portrait of a Lady. I wish Portrait of a Lady had a different um, name to it. That's always my thing with it. It's sort of quite off-putting because I think it's a fantastic formulation, actually. On to my final thoughts. I think this is really, really well built. I think this is excellent. To have a formulation that radiates off the skin, that smells high-tech, that smells dry, metallic, and natural at the same time is really, really well-skilled. But this to my mind is lacking something. It's very nice, I think it's, it's, I think it's all right. So I'll go through my marks with you. First two marks are sort of the technical side, the legal side. This is safe, legal, compliant, it's fantastic. Next two marks are uh, projection longevity. This is so good, because you're gonna get that beautiful, strong, clean, dry finish to it. And anchoring to the skin for the price you want that. The price, oh gosh, that was, how much was it? So for 100 mil, it's 275, which would mean for 50 mil, 130, 140, I don't know. I tell you what the problem is, I, I, think, it's, I think it's overpriced for what it is. And I think they're relying on the name. And I think if this was about 80, 90 pounds, I think it'd be really fantastic. And it's sort of, it's lacking something for me. To me, you're gonna get bored of this. And I'll tell you why, because primarily, it's high-tech raw materials with a few naturals in. And with that, you get a really linear finish. And a linear finish means that it doesn't change from start to finish, it stays the same. Hours later, it's the same. And when you're using a lot of naturals, 
we get that morphing and changing, which I personally really love. And so for me, it smells high tech, modern, fresh clean. It's doing everything I want, but it's lacking some heart, some soul, some passion to it. It feels like it's devoid of soul to it. Do I like it? I think it's okay. Rose is my most favorite thing. Um, actually, I love it. It's one of the things that I really fell in love with. So I'm also a little bit more critical and a little bit harder on rose based formulations. I personally think Portrait of a Lady is fantastic. This is a drying down. It's sort of, um, it's all right. How would I improve upon it? Um, I would add a lot more naturals to it and I think it would be transformative. This is the problem when you have things that are primarily aroma chemicals and are primarily really up to date modern raw materials and you're not smoothing it, basing it out with a lot of naturals, sandwood, patchouli, all of that sort of stuff. Um, you get something that's devoid of passion and just as a really nice fragrance and it's very nice. That's not my criticism, but my criticism is it lacking heart and soul to it. So I'm gonna market a seven out of 10. I think it's fantastic, but because it's lacking passion, full throttle sexuality, all of that stuff, for me, it's sort of lacking. But that is in my opinion but I do think it's fantastic. So I hope you love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. I hope things stay from well and I'll see you soon.